Hello my Linen Things family and friends. Welcome on back to the channel guys. So happy to see you. Yeah, we only got a couple more days to have this up and then your girl's gonna have to start pulling out her Easter stuff. Welcome in my subbies. Thank you so much for stopping by. You guys know if you saw my um, Dollar Tree bingo, oh my goodness, I had so much fun. But I also saw so many of you missed it. I hope the next time that I do it, more of you guys will be able to come along. We had so much fun with the Dollar Tree bingo. So I am trying to implement that at least once a month. I'm not going to say like a date. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to implement that so we can try to do it once a month. So you guys be ready for the next one. I did miss you guys. Thank you all for who went back and watched the replay. Y'all, like I said, it's, it's just so fun. I absolutely love that. Um, but because I had stopped at DT, y'all, I had a couple items that I have still in the bag that I have not, you know, pulled out. And I was like, oh, I got to show this. I got to share this so that I can use my stuff, y'all. It's not that many things, um, that I wanted to show. But one of the things I did want to show, um, was, yes, from my girl Andrea. Um, she was saying that she had sent me something and I was like, okay, so, you know, be on the lookout. And I did get it a couple of days ago. So I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, honey, for your thoughtfulness. She sent me a Princess Tayana postcard. So it says, hello, friends, sending some Disney magic in the mail. Hope this brightens your day. Love and hugs, Andrea. So this is Andrea from um, Andrea Nicole. That is like another YouTube bestie of mine here. And I have posted her a lot in the description. So if you haven't already checked her out, I will put her down. And you can go check her out. She collects a lot of Dunn, a lot of Disney. Um, she does lives. She does crafts. She makes keychains and all type of stuff, y'all. So you go over and check her out if you haven't already. But this melted my heart, friend. I got this and I was like... Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I love, love, love it. So she is over in my little Disney area where I did my video and she is right there with Tayana. So thank you um, over by the Princess and the Frog area. So I did want to share that with you guys. And because it is still Women's History Month, we do have a story as well. Just a short story. Remember, there are only three to five uh, minutes. So we are, we're going to get into that last, but Right now, y'all, let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to what I found at Dollar Tree. Um, so the first thing, if you saw the thumbnail, I know you saw, I know you saw the thumbnail, um, was this a lamp, guys. So I was like, oh my goodness. So it says home. Um, I have been waiting probably a year and a half, if not longer, um, for the other new lamps. Now I saw a lot of new lamps flying around, or not flying around, but uh, on a lot of different people's channels like Anna and um, Sadie and I think Marina, uh, Pamela. It was like so many different people were showing so many different lamps. So there is a couple of lamps out that have a shade to them that I think have been reintroduced. Um, I think they came out a while ago. I never got them, but the beautiful sweet Sadie, she did send me one with the shade, um, a black one. And thank you again, Sadie, for that because I have never found them here in Illinois. But this one was also one I hadn't found. So we have been getting... I don't know if I have one behind me. We have been getting the other ones. It's, it's actually kind of made like this one. I just love the box, y'all. So this one is kind of like the other ones we were getting. And I just thought it just looked like something you would get from um, Target or something, right? So it says Home Luminaire. Um, there's no bulbs to replace in this. It's a flexible neck, so you can use this, you know, at, in your, you know, office or on your table, um, on your nightstand. And I was like, okay, I really do like that. So I just picked up one. I like how compact this box is. I do believe the other lamps that we were finding that are long neck like this, the box was a little bit bigger than that. So I kind of like how compact that is. But y'all, I was so excited to run into that. Um, in the store that I ran into these, they had two or three. I just picked up one because I do still have like the other lamps that we were finding. And my Dollar Trees are a surplus with those lamps now, y'all. It's like almost every DT I go in, Everybody has the long neck lamp, which they are so awesome. I have them all over my house, y'all. And they work really, really well. Um, and for a long time, none of them have blown since I've purchased them. Um, I have one in my daughter's room, one in my room. I use some kind of in the background for videos. I absolutely love those lamps. They do work. But I really wanted to just see up close. Even if I don't purchase it, I kind of wanted to see up close the little short ones with the little um, shades to them. But they don't have it. Another item I had never seen just yet in my stores, and it's been a minute, y'all. It's been a minute um, since I've seen anybody show these. But it was the Banana Wave Banana Milk. What? 
So this is the Banana Wave Chocolate, and I can't remember who I saw showing this, but it's been a long time, y'all. I know this was last year sometime, and I was like, oh, I hope our stores get it. I looked for it so long, I actually forgot I was looking for it. Was at this particular store, and they had the chocolate banana one, and y'all, mm -hmm, yeah, they had that one, and the Strawberry Banana Wave. What? So this is, like I said, one of my local DTs. I was so shocked. I grabbed them so fast off that shelf. I cannot wait to taste them. Um, it says that they are plant-based, gluten-free. They are kosher. Um, no high fruct uh, fructose corn syrup and no artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners. Yes, y'all. Ooh, I cannot wait to try these. Yes, I'm going to get these in the fridge and get them um, nice and cold. But it was saying you can drink it by the glass. You can pour it over cereal. I don't know if I want to do this over cereal. I'm so used to just regular almond milk or um, or even like a regular milk. I don't know if I would put this flavored milk on my cereal. I don't know about that. But it says, you know, cereal. Stir into your coffee and teas. Enjoy it warm with cookies. Again, I don't know if I want strawberry banana warm. Um, chocolate banana might be okay, but I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, it says replace your dairy milk and add this in your uh, favorite or baking recipes. You could do a lot with this milk. I was just thinking smoothies, y'all, and or drinking it as is, but okay. So I was so excited. These are like unicorns. Um, I don't know why the Dollar Trees are not all treated equal where we get things so late. Like, um... I'm on the hunt right now still for those eggs. I was watching Tish's video and I was like, oh my goodness. I think the last Dollar Tree uh, walkthrough she did, her store had just about four or five items that I have been looking for. Those farm eggs I think are just so cute. Um, I kind of want a natural theme as well when it comes to Easter. I don't know why. I love the, like that natural theme, like the, the tans and the browns and things like that. And so I would love to find those eggs. Now, they my stores do have the other Easter eggs, like with the, the ones that they had last year, like the speckled egg and the um, golden, which I have already here. But the farm one is just so cool. I really like that one more. It's just more natural. And I have not seen them in my stores yet. I just keep seeing the older eggs. Um, so I'm on the hunt for those. And there is something else, y'all. It'd be so much. I watch y'all videos and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, literally, I do need to have my list. I need to, um, like, <laughs> yes. You see that? Ray done List. I literally need to make a list of items that I'm on the hunt for when I'm watching you guys' videos and walkthroughs uh, and uh, hauls. Because it's like, what? I, I didn't see that in my store. So, sometimes, like, I'm watching Shy Town Girl videos or um just a lot of you guys um tiffany's passions her stores like y'all i love how we all in different places and we can find different things um so also that i picked up which was one of my prizes which i was like whoa that's new love this packaging it's by spa scriptions and it is a uh serum multivitamin multivitamin serum for your face i guess and it has vitamin c b e and uh, niacinamide in it. Okay, for 125. Look at that, y'all. It's so pretty. So they have all the colors because they have those that many um, different uh, vitamins. So I did give one of these away in the bingo. So I did grab myself one. So it was like one for y'all, one for me. Um, what else I got in here? I don't think it's too much. Oh, I have been on the lookout for some more iron on. I had a lot of fun using the iron on that I found at Dollar Tree. Um, so again, another thing I couldn't find maybe, you know, a year and a half ago were the vinyls and Marina was so kind. Her and Pamela sent me this huge box for my birthday of uh, all these different things that I could not find here in Illinois. And uh, a lot of the vinyls was one of them, but, um, then my store started getting the vinyl. So now vinyl is everywhere y'all, but then they came out with the iron on. And so I found, and I still don't know what I did with it because I could have sworn I had like a pink iron on. Maybe it's just me. I had a gold one. So if you saw my um, Disney video where I made my own shirt and I had the 100, well, the 100 was in this glitter gold, which I found. And it's an iron on from Dollar Tree. So I've been looking for more iron on. And this store actually had some. A lot of the stores just have this surplus of the regular permanent or the removable vinyls, but a lot of them don't have iron on. None of them really had iron on. And this store only had it in y'all know i love me some green so i got the green but they only had it in like these neon colors so there was a lighter green than this and an orange in this one 
So I was like, well, I'll stick with that one because I want to play around some more with the iron on. I really liked how it came out. So to pay a dollar for it, yeah, your girl's going to get that. And then last but not least, I did pick up, um, I have been looking for this too. I saw it, didn't get it when I saw it. And then when I went looking for it, the particular store I was at didn't have it. I was like the cuticle oils. There's a mango one, I think. And then there's the lavender one. I really need this because my hands are always in water. And it's like, I need to keep my nails like, um, I kind of wanted the cuticle oil or whatever, like to put on my cuticles, y'all. So I grabbed one of those up. I can't wait to try it. I think I saw uh, Tish find some of these. But I, yeah, this is something I was looking for. It, it was um, something I had seen but didn't grab. That's another thing about Dollar Tree. If you see something, especially something that's an item that is not usually sold, pick it up, grab it up, don't play with yourself, get it then because you may not find it again. I got lucky. Um, so that's all of my little finds that I found at the Dollar Tree, which I was excited about, especially the lamp because... I, like I say, we keep seeing like the long neck lamp. Uh, we have them a lot now. And at first we couldn't even get them, but they're in every store I go in. Um, so to see that one in that particular box was just kind of exciting for me. Um, so now we're going to read our um, women's history. And I'm trying to see if my book is near me. Um, the story I'm going to read today really quickly um, was kind of, I'm not going to say near and dear, but it was reminiscent for me. So this book I read last month, and it is called Eli's Promise. So this is by Ronald uh, Balson, and this was really, really good. Um, so it was actually about um, a family, uh, well, more than a family, but uh, this guy, Eli, and his family, they where they were living in Poland, it, of course, got taken over by the Nazis. And it just was this describing how they were taking over, you know, the land or, you know, trying to send all these people to like death camps and uh, things like that. And I was like, wow. So there's a story in here about two sisters that reminded me of this story that I had read. So I was like, I've got to read about that. Um, once I read it, you'll better understand it. But this book was very good. Very good. So the sisters we will be reading about today for a Women's History Month. Uh, they're named the Pogorski sisters. So they are down here. This is them. And we're going to read just that little bit about their information, okay? Or what they did and how they made history, okay? So it says they were born in Lipa, Poland in 1925. They are Stefania and Helena, okay? So Stefania was born in 1925. Helena was born in 1935. So they were 10 years apart. It says, there are countless heroic tales of young people who did extraordinary things during World War II. One example comes from Poland, where Stefania Pogorski and her little sister Helena risked everything to save the lives of 13 total strangers. In 1942, 16-year-old Stefania and her 16-year-old sister, I'm sorry, her 6-year-old sister Helena, lived in Przezinski, a, a Nazi-controlled town. Their father had died, and their mother and brother had been forced into a German work camp. Stefania and Helena were Catholic, so they had some rights, including being able to rent their own apartment. Many Catholic Poles were persecuted by the Nazis, which is why the girls' mother and brother had been sent away. All the Jews in town were forced to live in a ghetto, a small, heavily controlled area. And when I read that, I was like, wow, that happened, you know, in this book. That's part of the story, how they made uh, ghettos and they put place so many um, German people in those uh, types of places to control them, basically. Um, so it says Stephania knew that this wasn't fair and she would often sneak food into the ghetto to share with her former boss, Mr. Diamant and his family. Mr. Diamant had helped care for Stefania and Helena when their mother was sent away. And Stefania told him she would help his family if they ever needed it. Soon word had got out that the ghetto was being liquidated. 
meaning that Jews were being put on trains and sent to death camps, which is something else I have read in this story. Uh, one day, there was a knock at Steph Stephania's door. It was Max, Mr. Diamant's son. He had escaped the death camp train and needed a place to hide. Stephania was terrified, but she had promised the Diamants that she would help. Soon, Max was able to bring the rest of the family. The group grew to 13 in all. Again, Stephania was afraid, very afraid. She knew that if they were caught, they would all be killed. But she thought of her mother, who had taught her to care for all people. Stephania welcomed the 13 people into her small, cramped attic. Every day, Stephania worked to collect enough food to feed everyone without arousing suspicion. She had very little money, so she knitted sweaters and sold them or traded them for food. Little Helena did everyone's laundry, brought them water, and often ran dangerous errands because, as a child, she aroused less suspicion. Stephania and Helena successfully hid the 13 people in their home for two years, y'all, two whole years, until the town was liberated. The Diamonts were tired and weak, but happy to be alive, and they owned their lives to, they owed their lives to these two brave sisters. Stephania turned 18 soon after liberation, and Max proposed to her. They were married and later moved to America and raised a family. Wow, wow. When you think, that just kind of gave me goosebumps just thinking about how something so small could be so great. How your, your thoughts or you're wanting to help someone else can just change a whole life. If Max had not escaped, he'd be another person who was not here anymore because they were marching them off to death camps. Um... And I just found that, like I said, I literally just read this book when I was going back and forth um, when my daughter was in the hospital. And this is a very gripping read. It was it was really sad because it just gave me a look into someone else's life. And um, we know that this really did happen. And it's just sad that some people feel like they have to take and, and hurt other people to um, rule or to have control of someone else. But I saw that and I was like, oh, wow. So it's really nice to see two heroes or heroines from, you know, real life who actually helped someone else to kind of stay alive during this time to, you know, help them to be able to make it. Um, and then they were able to go to America. Like I, when I read that story, like I said, I had goosebumps and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so close to the story of this book that I had read. So thank you guys so much for coming back and just checking out the little things that I found at Dollar Tree, hearing this beautiful story of these two awesome sisters who were there for somebody else just by letting them hide out in their house, which we know was very dangerous at the time. Um, but they all made it, thank God, safely. Um... And yeah, if you like this, please don't forget to hit that like down there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please, I would love to have you here in the Lending Things family. And I will see you guys in our next video. I hope you're having a great evening. Bye-bye.